quickly and effectively verify if your coins are silver or not. We're going to be using neodymium rare earth magnets. These are some of the strongest magnets on earth. They're actually pretty hard to get apart. But the way they work is that uh, with silver, they don't actually stick to it because silver and gold and other precious metals are non-magnetic. Right? But it'll actually stick to things like uh, steel, as we'll see. But let's start with this. This is one ounce of pure silver. This is a 1997 American Eagle. We're going to hold it at about a 45 degree angle, take one of these little rare earth magnets, and glide it across. See, it slowly slides down. It doesn't stick to the metal. Now let's go to my very first silver coin I ever purchased. This is a 1886 Morgan dollar. So uh, when I bought this, I didn't actually think it was real because it was in such good condition. But we can verify with this magnet if it really is. Let's see. Yup, it's 90% silver. So it slid, slid down a little bit faster than the 100% uh, silver over here. Uh, but let's go to this next coin, which is a 1964 Bermuda crown. So it sure looks silver like the other ones, uh, but sometimes you just don't know how much silver content is in it. So let's try on this one. Uh, we can see it moves a lot faster. It still sticks a little bit, but it moves pretty fast. And that's actually because that's only about 30% silver. A little more than that, but uh, it's definitely not 90 or close to 100 right there. This also works on smaller coins. This is a standing Liberty quarter, and it's 90% silver as well. You can see it sticks pretty nicely to it. Now, let's say you have coins you don't really know too much about. Uh, this is a 1979 peso from Mexico. And, you know, Mexico has a lot of old silver coins, but they're usually not 100% silver or even 90%. Let's see if this has any silver in it. Ooh, no silver. See, it just slides right off. No resistance. So this peso is no good. Let's go on to this uh, 50 lira from Italy, 1978. You know, this is silver like the rest of them, or silver colored. Uh, but as you can see, it's actually made from uh, stainless steel. So that's why this magnet sticks so well to it. Um, by the way, this peso is made of copper and nickel. Now just to drive the point home, this is a, a silver looking wheat scent from 1943. It's actually made of all steel as well. And you can see if we put the magnet up to it, ooh, it sticks to both of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a great way to to see if you have sil real silver or not, and hopefully never get faked out again. Enjoy.